Hi, the team who is famous for asked me to do a short video to give you an insight into my work and my studio. The situation with Corona is, is absolute bollocks. But there's lots of positivity. Uh, Lost in number three, my new collection comes out on Saturday, May the 16th, that the gallery is supporting. So, in the meantime, until it's safe to do so, uh, to come down and, and, and see the, the team and the, the collectors. Hopefully you'll love the new collection and I shall give you a little walk around the studio. Without a doubt, my studio provides inspiration for my work through giving me a place of calm and at times isolation to help me truly focus on my art, which can often be emotionally challenging and conceptually intense. With it being so close to home, it served as a place of retreat to help compute certain issues and, and challenges before finding an outlet to express these through my work. So whether it's a, a break from the screen or, or just some fresh air from spray paints, we just be able to push open the door and, and walk down to the lake and just sit is, is really special. There's a massive contrast in the subject and intensity of my work. Throughout education, it was always fine art that I specialised in, often highly conceptual and quite dark. But my first memory of mixed media art was scanning in an old colour pencil drawing as well as bits of tree bark, fabrics and inks. I made a mess, made mistakes, but I loved the intensity and interaction of the layers. Today, the digital element is incredibly intense and, and somewhat clinical to achieve an authentic and, and real quality. So to be able to then break free, get the paints and brushes out, as well as setting fire to things and generally making a fucking mess is, is a great release and, and reinforces where you started from. So much of my work has been created with someone close to me playing a key character and acting as my inspiration for creating the piece, even if they don't know it. I'm never one to look to create something controversial for reaction's sake. I draw inspiration from life experience, be it past or present, but ones that stir up a genuine emotion and that can be better expressed through my art, it's how I bleed and, and ultimately how I heal. This can either be something that causes me hurt and anger through to really positive emotions through the need to search back to childhood memories, ultimately being driven by the need to cast light into the darkness. So it's all linked and epitomizes why art for me generally is everything.